It shows that we are clearly part of life because we have this major property of being born, existing and dying. And that's enorm always been enormously important in any evolutionary story because when we fall, another tree grows up, but it's a young tree and therefore is much better adapted to the circumstances of the time that it grows. And this is certainly seen, who was it? I think it was Einstein, wasn't it, who said science progresses funeral by funeral. <laughs> and so death as part of life is absolutely essential. But what is life? Does, does death help us with that? Uh, in, in a formal scientific sense, yes, obviously, because one can draw a distinction between uh, organic matter and uh, living matter, but not if you take a transcendence view. Because in a transcendent view, every molecule is alive. Everything is alive. It's all part of a highly conscious universe. And when you're at that level of consciousness, then you don't see matter as being animate or in inanimate. You see it all as part of this vibrant pattern of life which radiates into everything. I, I like that picture. Mm -hmm.